What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today, we are dramatically changing the look of my 2024 Mustang GT we're calling Astro. If you missed the last video, we installed Steeda Progressive lowering springs on the car and they did exactly what they should have done. They dramatically took up the wheel gap here. We lowered about an inch, a little over an inch in the front, one inch in the back, and I think they look great. But now it's time to get rid of the stock wheels and move on to something else. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing my 20 inch RTR Tech 7 wheels on the car. And I think it's gonna not only dramatically change the look of the car, but I think in conjunction with the springs, it's gonna dramatically change the handling characteristics as well. So let's get the car in the garage. We'll get the wheels installed. And then tomorrow morning, I actually have an appointment to get the car realigned. And then after that is completed, we're gonna to get to take it for a drive, see how it handles and really show you guys how it looks. So let's get this thing in the garage and start the whole process. There they are guys, 20 inch RTR Tech 7 wheels. If you guys have been a long time watcher of my channel, these are nothing new to you. I had these on my 2018 Mustang EcoBoost and I just really love the look. So I ended up keeping them and obviously now we're gonna get to throw them on the new car. So these are 20 inch, like I said before, and these are rocking some Nittos as well. These are the NT555 G2s, 275-35ZR20s. I really do love these Nitto tires, guys. They did hook very well with the EcoBoost, and the EcoBoost being tuned on E30 was making quite a bit of torque to the rear wheels. So they did a good job, and I think they'll do an even better job on the GT. So let's get the GT in the air. I'm just gonna do side by side here, one at a time. I'm not gonna jack the whole car up this time. I don't think there's a need to do that, but I will break those lugs loose before we jack up each side. It's just gonna make it a lot easier for us. Man, it feels like I just did this. I wonder why that is. Hmm? <sighs> you didn't watch my last video. You have no reference to that, but that just means you should go watch my last video. Ooh, yes, and I get another chance to use this awesome jack I just picked up at Harbor Freight the other week. The Daytona 3-ton in this crazy purple color. Now, yes, I know you shouldn't buy a jack just because it's a crazy cool color, but couldn't say it wasn't part of the reason why I wanted it. <laughs> However, this is definitely the best jack I've ever owned, and it lifts this thing up like no problem. So let's get it under the car. We'll jack this side up. Ooh, and that is close, guys. Check that out. Hopefully that's not a problem. Yeah, we just clear, which is pretty crazy. So maybe I should have went with the, the slightly thinner jack from uh, Harbor Freight. Oh well, this one looks good. While I'm removing the factory wheels and installing those RTRs, I wanted to also let you know that I picked up an inexpensive lug nut set off Amazon to install with these wheels. So far, the quality looks good, and for the price, you can't beat it. I'll make sure to update you in the future if these don't work out for whatever reason, but for now, I'll have a link in the video description in case you're interested. All right guys, all four wheels are installed on the car and I am beyond excited. It looks awesome in my opinion, but I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to show you in the light and give you a proper reveal. So I'll meet back up with you guys in the morning. We'll head over to the tire alignment place, get that done, and then we'll reveal the car and take it for a little rip here and see how it all handles. I think it's gonna be much, much better. All right, see you in the morning. Good morning guys, we are back in the car. We are about to go over to the alignment shop now, get this thing fully aligned and back to road worthy. And then uh, after that, obviously, we're gonna go take it for a rip and see how she does. So I'm gonna limp it over there and hopefully this is a quick little process. So as much as I would like to say this was a quick process, it wasn't. Unfortunately, the shop I took the car to originally was not able to complete the alignment because according to them, the camber was too far off on the left side and that the only way to get it within factory specs was to use camber plates. This didn't really make much sense to me with just lowering springs on the car. So a few days later, I took it to another shop that specializes in lowered suspension. All right, guys, let's give this another shot. We are at high tech performance here. We're gonna try to get this thing aligned and hopefully it goes better this time. So let's get that done.
Well guys, there you have it. You have Astro with the 20 inch RTR wheels and Steeda progressive lowering springs installed on the car. And I for one could not be happier. These completely changed the look of the car for me. And I, I'm super happy that I was able to keep these from the EcoBoost build we did before this and kind of transfer them over to the new GT. But I want to hear what you guys think. Put it down in the comments below. Do you guys like the gray wheels with the grabber blue color? Do you not like it? Put it down in the comments. But as far as usability and street ability goes, I think the, this is like a fantastic setup here. And I do want to throw out a big thanks to High Tech Performance for getting this car within factory spec without the use of camber bolts or camber plates. This is just the springs and RTR wheels and we were able to get a, a good alignment out of the car here within factory specs. That just kind of goes to show that you actually don't need it unless you're going to be tracking the car or you want that extra adjustment. But for a street car, they can do it guys. You just got to go to the right place. But with that being said, I do still want to take you for a ride in the car so I can explain the performance and the handling characteristics of this setup and see what you guys think. So let's go for a ride. All right, so we are setting off in Astro here. And the first thing I do want to say before I get into all the positives of this setup here, guys, one, I guess negative, I kind of knew that, hey, this is what I'm kind of expecting here. But one little negative is that it's a little bit stiffer, obviously. So we're going through this parking garage right now and it is, it is a bit stiffer. It does okay, like it's not unlivable or anything like that. It is just stiffer. So over little bumps and things, you do feel it more than I did on the 18 inch wheels with those 255s on there. We are going to a much smaller wheel sidewall uh, on these tires obviously than the stock ones. So that's why, but other than that, it is a, a fantastic, that's really the only negative I have on these, uh, this setup, if you could call it that. Well, with that part out of the way guys, let's get on to the more interesting stuff here. So how do they handle? How do the Steeda Progressive Lowering Springs handle with the RTR wheels? And granted guys, I just have had these on for a very short period of time. So my kind of idea or thoughts on this might change a little bit, but as of right now, as soon as I got into the car and started driving, I noticed that it was much more firm, right? We touched on that a little bit with a little bit of bumps and stuff you feel on the road more than stock. You know, that's the not so great part. However, when you start pushing it a little bit more in turns and having a little bit more fun with the car, I noticed that it's much more, much more planted in the corners here. And there's not nearly as much body roll. Obviously getting that weight down is a huge thing lowering that center of gravity down, of course. But, um, you know, we also have wider setup on this one. It's 275s all the way around, so nothing too crazy. But uh, those NT555 Nittos, they do have quite a bit of traction. Now, I haven't gone too crazy with this. We only have 500 miles on it. But as far as my first impressions go of the springs and the wheels, totally livable day to day. And when you start pushing it a little bit more in the corners, you start doing a little bit more aggressive driving, you definitely feel the car stiffen up. So that is pretty cool with that progressive rate on the Steeda Springs. So overall, I'm very happy with this setup. I think it's just gonna get better and better the more that I'm able to kind of push the car and uh, the more that you know physically I can push the car. Cause right now I'm kind of babying it a little bit until we get, you know, maybe another, I don't know, if I'm patient enough, I'm trying to get to a thousand miles of kind of being easy on the car before I go crazy with it as far as like a break-in period goes, but I'm getting a little impatient, so we might have to change that up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it for you guys, and uh, I'm really impressed with this setup, and I don't know, for, for the money, it's not a bad way to go. So if you're interested, I'll put a link to the springs and the RTR wheels down in the description. This video is not sponsored by anybody besides my wallet. So there's no discount codes or anything for you there, unfortunately. But guys, if you like the video, hit that like button for me. That helps me out a ton. And uh, of course, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you a part of the Daily Driven community. This channel is growing and growing. I'd love to have you along for the ride. So anyways, guys, I'm hitting a red light. No more fun for the day. So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.